Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to the workshop. We have the DeLorean back on the bench. The actual DeLorean, not just the reactor platform. And that can only be one thing. We are going to be attaching the reactor platform to the car. And today we are actually finishing the car. So once this is done, the only things left to do will be the plutonium box. And we get an alarm clock with one issue. And then I've got the parts for the hood box. So. Today, we are finishing the car. So without further ado, let's get building. Right, so here we have issue 125. Let's just do a quick flick through the magazine. So as you can see, this is what we've got this time around. We've got a couple of pipes, some stickers and some screws. So not a great deal. And the first thing we're going to be doing is putting some stickers around these pipes. And then we're going to be attaching those pipes to the X platform. Um, also one in the car there. And then we'll be putting the reactor platform on in place, making sure the wires tucked away nicely. And Obviously, making sure that all these other wires get connected up to the bulkhead, etc. And then that is the end of that. And as you can see, that was a magazine just full of instructions. So there's quite a lot to do with very few parts. And these are the parts. So as I say, we've got two pipes. Um, one is longer than the other. We've got these set of stickers. And we've got some AP screws. So I'll just get those opened. Now we do have two different pipes. So as I say, one's longer. Uh, this particular one has a straight end. And this one here has an angled end. And it looks like we're going to be using the angled end first. And we're going to be putting a blue sticker just around the edge of here. So the first one is going just here, just like so. And then we've got to do another blue sticker and a white sticker. And they're going to go in the center. So, let's have a look. On my little cutting mat here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten. So that's the center there. So we're going to try and put one blue one here and one white one just here. Just so that there's a little bit of spacing between the two. Like that. And then the white one is going to go a little bit further down just like this so we've got that pipe looking like that we now need to do a similar thing with this pipe which is the one with the straight end and we're going to be getting one of the black wraps And from the looks of it, it's going about three quarters all the way down, maybe two thirds, approximately there. And again, I'm just going to wrap around like so. And next, we need to do a few more bits to the platform. So the first one we're interested in 
is this one here, this pipe. And we're going to be wrapping a yellow sticker around the middle of this one. So it's going to go about there. And I think the easy option is to just pull that out of there. And then we can wrap this around. Now, they are quite long stickers, so you could potentially cut these down. And just place that one back into that hole. So we've got the yellow sticker there. And then on this one, we have a red sticker to go on. And that's going to go about there. Now, I really don't know what the longevity of these stickers are going to be over time. So maybe at some point in the future they might get painted on. Uh, next wire we're interested in is this one here and we need a red and a white one for this one and We have a red one that's going closer to this bulkhead here Ensuring that's wrapped around nice and tight And then we need to follow that one up with a white one. And we've got that one in there just like that. The next cable we're interested in is actually currently on the car. And it's this cable here. And I'm just going to pull that out. And we're going to be placing a red cable around the center of that. Okay, so now we've got that red cable, in, uh, red band in place on there. I'm just going to plug that one back in. Now we'll just move that one out of the way again. Okay, so we're going back to the platform and we're interested in these pipes. Now we have this one, which is um, pipe A. This is the one with the bent end. And this one is going on this side. And it's going in just there, like so. We're going to secure that with the four AP screws that we've got here. And we're going to do the same thing for this one on this side here. This is the one with the straight end. And that's the last one going in there, just on this side. That's that one. We're going to do the same on this side. Again, with using the AP screws. And we have the last one just going in there. So that's what that is looking like, like that. Now I'm just going to put that to one side. And move those screws to one side as well. I believe they're both spares. But now what we need is the car. And what we're interested in is the rear section here. I will just give this rear section a quick dust off. Much better. Right. And we've got this cable here. And we need to attach it to the cable we've got coming out of here. Um, mine is a different colour, just to um, reassure you that if you're doing this without the EL mod or with um, the standard flux wire, um, it, it will be a different colour for you. But the principle is the same, still work, just connect those cables together. Um, obviously, I've put my little mod in. Um, if you haven't seen that mod, um, I'll put a link in the description. So what we're doing, we're just going to be pushing this down through the hole that the cable is coming up from. You might need a pair of tweezers to do this. 
So just feeding that cable down and the connector down as well. And then we'll slide that all the way into place like so. And now we get to connect all the many different hoses. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'll just reposition the camera and then I'll be able to show you much better what I'm doing. Okay, so the first cable we have is this one here. And that's going into the hole you can just see there. Like so. We then have this one with the black end. That's going into the hole you can see there that's um, with the black connector. Again, this is where your tweezers might come in handy. So that's going in just like that. We have this central one, and that's going into the central black hole just in here. Now wiggle to get that one to go in. And then finally, we've got the one coming from the other exhaust cowl. And we've got a hole just down in here. Just move the camera around. So hopefully you can just about see there's a hole just down here on this little angle bracket here. And that is where this is going to go, which is why this has um, got an angle connector on it. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now I'm going to keep the camera where it is because the next stage we have, we will be working on these lower vents just here. So issue 125, we have these pieces and we have two of these pieces. We also have some NP screws. So the first thing we're going to be doing is getting these pieces and they are going to slot in here. I'm going to make sure they go in all the way. So they are pushed all the way in and they're flat up against these rear lights. Just like that. And then we have these two bits. And just double checking if they have a left and a right. And uh, they look like they are identical to me. Um, and they are going to go in here. Um, you've got a very small lug just here. And basically we've got two holes that they are going to go over the lugs. And we've got this cut out here as well. That's going to go over the edge of the bodywork here. Right, so we've got one in that side and one in that side, just like that. Going to do the same on this side. On that side. And one just there. So they're now over the, those lugs. And I've just turned the car around to the side. We've got this extra hole just here. We're going to use one of the NP screws to secure that into this blade of the exhaust vent. We're going to do that on both sides. So I'll just start on this side. Now I'm just supporting this so that when screwing in, it's not going to flex or bend or break. We've got this one on the inside to do. And 
And then we've got two for this exhaust cowling over here. And the last one. Just in there, like so. And now we need this. Now, I can't actually remember what stage we did this in. I think it was stage three or four, something like that. Certainly very, very early on that we built this. But that will pop just on there. And that finishes the car. And that is how it was when you first saw it come out of the back of the truck with the fusion reactor in place, or the nuclear fusion reactor, I should say. Now, I am going to show you how to change this from Back to the Future 1 to the end of Back to the Future 1. And we'll introduce Mr. Fusion. Now, you can't just pop that on top. It doesn't fit. What we need to do is we'll remove this cover. And we also need to remove these two pipes. One. Two. Now, Mr. Fusion will fit in here just like that. And then we have the car as it was at the end of the second movie, or end of the first movie. Looking absolutely brilliant. And uh, if you want to switch it back, just the reverse. So take that one off. Place these two pipes back in. Place the cover back on. And then you're back where you started with episode one. Or the first movie. Depending on which way you look at it. Now... I will show you my little mod here. So obviously I've put this little mod in. I put a hole through the reactor platform there. Um, this will currently light up using the LED bulb um, as standard. Um, but I can break that circuit and plug in the Mr. Fusion um, mod that I've done. I know, not screen accurate. But that will then allow this to light up blue. Now, I'm not going to put the, um, the reactor cover up back on because uh, I've always planned on having it with the Mr. Fusion in place and I am going to be doing the hood box. So with the hood box, it did have Mr. Fusion. Um, I will just point out actually that um, you may notice that I don't have the springs for Mr. Fusion. Um, one, I felt they were too fiddly and two, I didn't think there was any point to them at all. Um, if you watch the movie, you can't really see that you've got springs here, and it's obvious that this is not spring-loaded, because Doc will open this and leave it open, and then he has to push this back manually. So I don't think this is spring-loaded, and it shouldn't be. So that's one of the reasons why I opted not to have the springs in there, as well as them being really, really fiddly. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. So, it's been a long time coming. But the DeLorean is complete. And I will do a little mini showcase at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, as you can see, I've already removed it from the workbench. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of little mini showcases. One, as it is when you first see it coming out of the truck. The second one I will be doing um, with the Mr. Fusion and showing you the Mr. Fusion mod that is in place. Um, so. Do stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. But it has been a long time coming. Um, with Eagle Moss going bankrupt halfway through, um, many of us were stuck in a limbo state where we didn't know whether we were going to finish it or not. But I am really, really pleased and really, really happy that I have got to this point where I have finished the car. And as I said, I've just got the plutonium box to come. I've got the alarm clock to come. 
I've already got the parts for the hood box. So that won't be the last time you see the DeLorean on the channel. And we've got all that to come up. So if you want to see more of that or anything else that goes on the workshop, please do remember to hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. Then you'll be notified when I release a new video. Until the next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.